Hi, Becky Duff here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here with special guest star Sebastian Duff. And he is going to ask me some questions as we are doing a Would You Rather book tag. Mm, would you rather vanilla milkshake or fruits of juice? Vanilla milkshake. Okay. Strawberries or bananas? I don't like either one of those fruits, so <laughs> strawberry? There you go. Which ones are the best egos? Chocolate chip or blueberry? Blueberry. Chocolate chip. Are you ready for the actual questions? Yeah. Would you rather have a friend who loses your books or one who dog ears them? Dog ears. Yeah, because then if they lose it, it's gone. At least it was dog eared. It's just a little wrecked. Yep. <laughs> Very poignant to the point. Next one. Okay. Would you rather secretly love a book everyone else hates or secretly hate a book everyone else loves? I think I'd rather love a book because then at least you enjoyed it. You just, to, you just don't say anything when everyone dunks on it. When everyone yeah. dunks on it, you just stay quiet. And they look at you and they go, have you read that book? Or have you, you know, seen like, that show? And you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes. What did you think of it? I liked it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but if you secretly like hate it, I don't know, then you hated a book and that sucks. Yeah, I, I hate. Or a show or movie I don't or like, game or whatever. For me, it's more often that that way. People love a thing that I don't like. I'm like, oh, really? I'm not good. I'm yeah. like, oh, man, that was amazing. Whoa, whoa, what'd you think? And I'm like, eh, it was all right. Well, yeah. Was yeah. Okay. The kids love that Woody Woodpecker movie. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> The live action it's Woody so Woodpecker. It's so bad. Oh, I had to really restrain myself from groaning. <laughs> There's so many points. I was like, I was like, this is funny, isn't it, Daddy? I'm like, <laughs> it's like every possible trope for like a crappy comedy that you can possibly think of. They're all in there, all of them. Like a family. fart jokes, <laughs> like they're all in there, and they're terrible. I guess I'd rather love a book that everyone hates, because then at least I enjoyed my time reading it, anyways. Would you rather be stuck on a very long plane or a train ride without a book? A train ride, because then I can look at the scenery. Yeah, or the plane, there is some nice scenery sometimes. If it's not cloudy, you can look down and depending on what you're flying over, you can see like the ocean or the mountains. Normally, all my flights are to BC so I can see the mountains. Okay. But a train, like no matter what, you're going to have scenery, even if it's like the city. Well, that's part of the problem with the plane. It's usually, it's only the beginning and end. So you get the scenery. In between the long part of the plane ride is just clouds. Yeah. It depends. Which but... is fun to watch for a bit, but it's just pretty pretty boring. Where a train so again, but see a train depends. Where are you going? Are you just are you training in the desert? Like yeah. these sand dunes? Yeah, but there's still always gonna be something to look at. Yeah. Even if it is just Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Would you rather have dinner with your favorite author or your favorite character? Author. Character. <laughs> Make it sound like I gave the wrong answer. There's no right or wrong answers. <laughs> no, there isn't. Then you can talk to the author about like their craft. True. Who's your favorite character? I don't know who my favorite character is. There's so many cool characters you could just talk to. You're like, what's that world like? What are your thoughts on this? What's if it's like a hyper intelligent character, you'd be like, help help me to solve these problems. <laughs> yeah. What's something I could create in this world that will make me millions? There or help mil or help <laughs> millions. Uh, would you rather date a character you have a crush on or your crush from a real life? Uh, a character because they're always perfect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, again, characters are always written a certain way, so it's like it's interesting to talk to characters because a lot of people in real life aren't like these characters. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, and you have a crush on them for a reason, right? Like, there's obviously something about them that you're attracted to. Maybe I can relate to that more in a, a show or something, but like not so much in a book. I don't find I have crushes in books. I don't really get crushes either, but there's always like the perfect boyfriends, right? Yeah. Or, or I guess girlfriends, but for me, it's the perfect, the book boyfriends and stuff. I'm going to go with the perfect fictional character because <laughs> there's a reason why it's fictional. Would you rather have your favorite book turned into a movie or your favorite movie turned into a book? So I have read books that were actually movies first and the books are just a repeat of the movie Typically. and there's there's no like extra depth to it at all so even though they tend to like mess up turning books into movies 
I think that's better because then you the book is better typically than the movie or it's they're both good or the book is better but if you have the movie first and then the book and they don't actually do anything they just straight up translate it into a book it's not really good but that like, pan's labyrinth was a movie first and they made it a book i feel like and stuff I, like, that one was okay they did an okay job with pan's labyrinth i but... feel with stuff like that the only time that that's better where it's a, a movie turned book is when they make a book out of a sequel or prequel to whatever that movie so is they're adding to the story otherwise yeah otherwise yeah. like you said it's just a repeat of the movie because the movie's already there mine was like mom's day yeah. out so it wasn't it or didn't need they can to elaborate. be a movie or it didn't need to be a book it was a fine movie it didn't need to be a book but yeah if they're adding to the story that's different like what did you just read it was called mist or something like that but it was based off like a video game and then oh, they made it a... yeah it's just called mist with a y look up tiana it was like a movie f or it was a video game first right as far as I know, yeah, is the video game first, yes. Because right on the book right. it says based off of the video game phenomenon. Because Mist, when it came out, was it was a big deal. It was a big video game at the time. So then they made books out of it. See, the books elaborate on different parts of Mist. As far as I can tell, yeah. the Mist, the book that I read, has nothing to do with the game. Yeah, but so you're getting a different part of the story. Yeah. Anyways, I would rather them turn a book into a movie. Yes. Would you rather read a book with an annoying cliffhanger or one where your favorite character is killed off? I just read the latter. So what's the cliffhanger? Was there like another book coming? Do I just have to wait like a year or two or five for the next book to come out? That uh, depends. <laughs> right? Did they leave the Or is it just like a permanent cliffhanger? I feel like cliffhanger is so much worse when they don't, obviously when there's not enough interest for them to, to do a, a thing, a sequel or whatever. Yeah. Because then it's just left. Again, going back, because we talked about but, reboot earlier today. But the other way. Going then... back to reboot, they made movies way after the show yeah. came out. Yeah. So this was like for the fans. So they made two movies. And then the second movie takes place after the first, right? Like chronologically. The second movie Makes takes sense. place after. But it's a different story altogether, is all I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. But the way they ended the second movie was on a cliffhanger. And there was never enough interest to carry it on, and now it's just a loose end. Yeah. Like now that but... I will never know, unless I unless I take the series as the canon and be like, this is where it ends. Yeah. And the movies don't happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's never going to be a satisfying. There's not a satisfying ending to what happens. I don't know if they all die. Maybe they all die at the end of that movie. But what if you know 100 percent that one of your favorite characters died, and that's it? That sucks. But I, that I don't <laughs> mind that as long as in this if if in the story it makes sense. Yeah. If there's a good justifiable reason for it, like someone's making the ultimate sacrifice, that kind of thing, I feel like that's fine. You know, it makes it okay, it so makes the rather... story stand out and it's a better story ultimately. But if it's like we're just killing them off because we don't like them there anymore, then it's like that's cheap. I don't like that. One of the shows I watched where they just killed off a character because his. The actor's contract yeah. was up, and they're like, how are we going to get rid of him? Okay. Let's just brutally murder him. And it was devastating, and they should have just made him move to the other state that his sister lived in. And they could have brought him back, and they could have lived happily ever after, because they were meant to be together forever and always. They were the best couple, <laughs> and the OTP, and they killed him off. And if I even mention it, it's a huge spoiler to the whole show. You already but... said the person's name. No, so... I didn't. I didn't. Okay. I didn't say anyone's name. Okay. Rewind the tape. Watch it back. Okay. I didn't say the person's name. Maybe you didn't say the name, but you said how the... Anyways. Nope. I just said they were brutally killed off. Okay. I thought you said something and gave it away. I was like, oh, she just gave away what it was. Brutally murdered, I said. Okay. Would you rather a cliffhanger or the death of a character? Make a decision. Again, it, it depends on the thing. Like, are they going to make a continuation of the, the cliffhanger? Other? Then I'd rather cliffhanger. If, if it makes sense for the main character to die, then that's better. I'm going to say the death of a character. Fine, I'll say death of a character too. Because I'm just going to assume the cliffhanger is never going to have a satisfying Ew. Would yeah. you rather lose the ability to read any new books or the ability to, or lose the ability to reread books you've already read? I would rather be able to read new books and lose the ability to yes. reread. I think that one's... Because then I would just be stuck always rereading <laughs> books all the well, time and never get, get the new stories. Exactly, you never yeah. get new books never read like, new stories i feel it, like it sucks not being able to reread i do enjoy rereading once in a while but i'd rather be able to consume new stories yeah. if those are my options i rarely reread stuff 
but that's not to say I would never do it or never have done it. I have done it. Yeah. But I feel like once you've read it, at least you've read it and you got the story. Yeah. Whereas the other way around, you'll, you'll, you're stuck yep. perpetually rereading stuff you already know by the back of your hand. Like, what's the point? Eventually, you're going to run out of books to reread and you're just going to start over again. Would you rather live in a library or live in a bookstore? Library, because it's always moving. Not bookstores, too. Not moving, but like the books are always changing. You're getting new books. So that's bookstores the same way. Bookstores always new books. Bookstore, I think. I don't know why, but bookstore. Library's so much bigger. You get way more material. We went to that bookstore in Japan. It was like five stories tall. True. The Chappers and Indigo. Those are huge. You're just thinking of our tiny little coals in the mall. Would you rather lose your place or get a paper cut every time you, you read a book? I would rather lose my place. Wow, paper cut is so brutal every time. <laughs> get a paper cut every time you read a book. Oh my god, no. It was like torture. I'd probably stop reading books if I kept getting paper cuts. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm just picturing, I'm just remembering this scene from Friends. Where Chandler's like holding a magazine or something and somebody rips it out of his hands. He's like, so many paper cuts. <laughs> Would you rather have to always read in the dark or always read books with tiny text? So would you rather strain your eyes or strain your eyes? <laughs> tiny text. Oh, I don't know. I think in the dark. At least in the dark you can still read it once your eyes adjust. How dark I is it? Depends how dark. <laughs> but tiny text, like after a while my eyes get sore. So I would, I would never be able to read for any long stints. That's why it's a would you rather and it sucks. <laughs> Would you rather read by a fireplace or read on the beach? Uh, the fireplace. Less sand in your book. <laughs> sand in your butt, I thought you were going to say. Both Less of those. sand in your butt crack. Less sand in your butt crack and your book spine crack. crack. <laughs> your book crack and your butt crack. Your book crack, yep. And the fireplace think, is all nice and cozy. I think like fireplace too. I also like the crackle of the fireplace. <laughs> Yeah, the beach is more like, the sound of the ocean is nice, but then a bunch of, like, screaming kids and stuff like that, depending on how busy the beach is. Screaming seagulls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. I love the beach. The rats of the air. Don't get me wrong, I love the beach, and I'm excited to go to the beach this summer and go to the Pacific Ocean. Thanks for doing this video with me again. As you hold back your yawn. I'm not tired at all. Me neither. Bye! See you. Subscribe, like, and do all this stuff. Oh, yeah. Join yeah. the Discord channel. <laughs> <laughs>